For the Chicago Sun-Times, I'm Lori Rackle, and this is Lori's List, where I talk about some of the highlights on television this week. The epic ratings fail of We Are Men got the new fall comedy yanked off CBS after just two episodes. That paved the way for Monday's return of Mike and Molly, the Chicago set sitcom about a cop and a teacher starring Plainfield native Melissa McCarthy. Working in the Chicago public school system apparently has taken a toll on Molly. She's at a career crossroads in the premiere, guest starring Brian Baumgartner, better known as Kevin in The Office. While Mike and Molly isn't my particular cup of tea, fans have been eagerly awaiting the start of the fourth season, which has a new showrunner at the helm and an increased focus on movie star McCarthy. When Fox's New Girl debuted two years ago, Damon Wayans Jr. was all set to be one of Jess's roommates. The comedian played coach, an overzealous personal trainer with a short fuse. Wayans had to bail on the new show after the pilot because his other comedy, Happy Endings, got renewed by ABC. Now that the underrated Happy Endings has ended, Wayans is back on New Girl for a scheduled six episodes this season, starting Tuesday. We lived together for like two weeks. We shared some pretty big moments. Yes, we got Bin Laden! Seal Team 6, bitches! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Huh. I thought I was alone for that. You weren't. Country music has more awards shows than Garth Brooks has hats. But the granddaddy of them all, the CMAs, airs live from Nashville Wednesday on ABC. Jason Aldean, Luke Bryan, Taylor Swift, and Keith Urban are some of the artists performing in country music's biggest night, hosted for the sixth year by Brad Paisley and Carrie Underwood. GMA's Robin Roberts hosts her annual countdown to the CMAs at 9 p.m. the night before, with a special edition of 2020, featuring Dolly Parton, Kenny Rogers, and, in a shameless bit of cross-promotion, the cast of the ABC drama Nashville. The 50th anniversary of President Kennedy's assassination is fast approaching, and that means a slew of JFK-related programming over the next three weeks. National Geographic Channel helps get things started Friday with JFK, The Final Hours. The two-hour documentary is filled with first-hand accounts from those among the last to interact with the president during his fateful trip to Texas. It's narrated by actor Bill Paxton, who was perched on his dad's shoulders in Fort Worth as the president addressed the crowd hours before he was shot in Dallas. On Sunday, Rob Lowe does a turn as JFK in Killing Kennedy, a two-hour docudrama about Kennedy, Lee Harvey Oswald, and both of their wives, who were forced to suffer in different ways. It's an interesting look at two men whose different paths in life would ultimately converge, destroying both of them.